Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to a Tinkerer's Cube draft here on the channel. My name is Nikolai, and in this video, I will be going pick by pick and play by play through this draft, going through all of my decisions so you can level up and improve at Limited. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more, and comment below with your questions, thoughts, and feedback. You can check out the Twitch stream live at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. Okay, doke, so what do we have here for starters? Basically, if you've never drafted Cube before, it is a collection of very powerful cards, and these cards are, like, curated in a certain way such that there will be fun archetypes and things of that nature. We're playing best of three here, and I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to pick. This is a very synergistic Cube, uh, so going for synergy versus, like, raw power. There is Magmatic Channeler, which is a pretty nice card. Uh, works well with Instance and Sorceries, and just gives you some nice card advantage. If you have a lot of cheap plays, especially. Uh, because then you can start using this earlier in the games. Um, not necessarily like card advantage, but like card selection. Uh, Stolen by the Fae. Like a lot of these cards are just very good in their respective formats. So I like taking cards that are more flexible early on. So like a card like Kalein may be very good, but it doesn't really fit that flexibility card like vibe. Raw card advantage is also less good when you're going for synergy. Kind of want to take the Magmatic Channeler. I feel like it's just going to go well in a lot of my decks. It's a more aggressive card like this, but I don't know. I like the Magmatic Channeler as well. I like the deck types of decks it fits in. And now, moving on to pick two. There's Gutter Snipe, which also could go well with the Instants and Sorceries thing from the Magmatic Channeler. Because this deals damage. And this thing becomes a real threat if you have a lot of cheap spells. I don't really know how this card works. Uh... Like, I don't know what it, the offers and the conditions are. But could be interesting. Hooded Blight thing is good. Poet's Will could be good. Jeez. Mm. There's a Thriving Bluff and Thriving Grove. They're both very good cards for, like, splashing, fixing mana. I honestly don't know what to take here. I, I don't love taking gold cards early, I will say. And this card's kind of like a pseudo-gold card, because you don't really want it in, like, red-white and things like that. I like Spectral Sailor. I feel like Poet's Bill could fit into a lot of different things. Soul Seer also fits with Magmatic Channeler. Hmm. I'm going to take the Quill and see where that leads me. I feel like it fits into a lot of strategies. Okay, there's Golden Egg, which is always a flexible card. Help with mana. There's Malefic Scythe, which seems pretty good in, like, a red-black deck. And I can maybe get into an equipment theme or something. Golden Guardian's a sweet, sweet card. I like it. I don't like picking lands in, in this very synergistic place until I know what colors I am, because if you pick lands early and then you don't build, like, a multicolor deck, you sometimes end up in, like... Precarious spot. So we're seeing some black cards here. There's Mono Skellion, Wayward Swordtooth. Kind of like the Scythe, because it feels like it could go well with like Sacrifice in Black Red. This card's pretty sweet. Mm. We do see a few black cards here. Could also just take Golden Egg or Mono Skellion. I feel like Scythe could go well. Oh, Pursued Whale. Interesting. Revel in Riches, Winding Way, you have Havoc Jester, Sedgemore Witch, Dream Spinner. One thing in Cube is you don't have to take the expensive card super highly, because there's a lot of good expensive cards. So a Sedgemore Witch type card might be a little bit better, and then it fits with my Magmatic Channeler package a little bit better, and also gives me stuff to sacrifice. So I'm side better. Havoc Gesture is a bit more of an expensive card as well. Just to learn lesson card. I'm going to just try maybe sticking to black. It could be interesting. Pursued Whale. And also, these thing, this thing makes tokens that wear equipment pretty well. So I'm going to try the Sedgemore Witch, I think. Okay. This card's pretty good in uh, Modern Legacy, pretty much. You name it, the constructed format. Wow, this is a cool flying payoff. I've never seen this one before. Deep Eris, so. There's makeshift munitions as a sack outlet. Kind of like Putrid Goblin. Where's equipment well. And it's cheap. 
Deck is pretty low curve right now. Dragon's Rage Channeler, pretty sweet as well. Now Myers Grasp for some removal. It's not Magecraft triggered. There's also Path of the World Tree, Devouring Tendril Soup. There's some green cards here. There's Maze Mind Tome. Just gonna stick to black though. We're gonna see what presents itself. Maybe there'll be a black X kind of deck I can get into. Ooh, Curator can be really good. I don't know if I'm going for Magmatic Channel or Game Plan. There's also Blood for Bones. Which could be like a nice like reanimator thing if I can get some stuff to reanimate. And then there's like Unholy Heat is a really good card. And Maya's Grasp can help me trigger Delirium. Petra's Attendant. Oh, this is so tough. There's so many tough choices here. Because I feel like this card lets me play Channeler, but Red hasn't maybe been open. But there's some good red cards here, and then I can get Delirium, and then this card's good, and this card's good, and this card's good. Uh Oh, Ooh, Archfiend of Ifnir. I like that card. Do I have any discard? This is a discard. Ooh, maybe I move towards a cycling deck now. There's also Unlicensed Disintegration, Alchemist Greeting, some Madness stuff. That works really well with the Magmatic Channeler. Uh, maybe I move towards a cycling deck. I kind of feel like I have a different build of the deck going, so maybe this card would be better. I think Archfiend could be sweet. Elaine came back around. Well, obviously Unlicensed is a good removal spell, but I don't know if I will need it for my deck right now. I already have a couple of removal spells. I mean, every card is pretty good here. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna... I could take this. I could ramp out my stuff. Oh my goodness. Spectre is worse than it looks, because when you're behind, it doesn't do what you need, really. Okay, and then we get a Thriving Bluff. Looks like the Sacrifice deck may be open. Golden Egg. I can Sacrifice that. I can also just take, like, Feed the Swarm or Seize the Spoil. Seize works with some of my discard stuff and some of my treasure stuff. I think that's going to be better than the on the synergy front. Ooh, Havoc Jester. Right, I'm really liking that Seize pick now. Makes your munitions. Also, Hollow one pretty good. I don't want to take that, though. See how that goes. Okay, so we got a Black Red Sacrifice deck going here. So we've kind of got our game plan to some degree. We've got a land that'll help us. Archfiend is kind of for, like, some discard synergy. So this is some synergy. This is some synergy. So we're going to be looking for a little bit of synergy. We could also use Poet's Quill to, like, loot stuff away. Goblin Blizzardry is good for sacrifice stuff. Bacon Tropi is good removal. You can also sack the treasure. What's this? You sack a creature, you may pay black to draw a card. I like that. I like it a lot. Ooh, Magic hosted me with a viewer. Thanks, Magic. We kind of got the sack stuff going. I do have a learn card from Poet's Quill. What's this do? Creatures gain double strike. Ooh, there's also Pitiless Plunder, which could be really sweet with some of the stuff. Like every time I sacrifice something, I create a treasure token. And then I can use that treasure to fuel my Kalane. I like that. I like it a lot. There's also like Start from Scratch, which would be a good card to go get with my Poet's Quill. So I'm liking this guy. I think it'll be sweet. Oh, this card's got to be good in my deck. Hopefully. Beetleback Chief is also good because it creates four bodies. But I just need the Mayhem Devil. So powerful. So much power level. This deck is looking like it's coming together. How many instants and sorcerers do I have? One and one. So the Magmatic Channeler is not going to be growing, but it does have discard synergies with the Archfiend. Which maybe I wasn't supposed to take. Maybe I was supposed to take more sacrifice stuff. But at the time, I only had one red card. So it wasn't super clear where I was going to end up. Orca is just raw power level here. Eye Twitch and Village Rides with this. Oh, I don't have any artifacts, really. Yeah, 
Don't take Orcus. Maybe we'll get some steel stuff. I can steal those creatures. Cascade. If I have Delirium, and then I can put Delirium into only Unholy Heat. That would deal six. Or I could take Blood Aspirant. Kind of like that. There are some sweet cards. I like Unash a lot. Foulmire Knight, Mire Triton. I don't really have Graveyard Synergies. I don't really have Power 4 or Greater Synergies. So maybe I take either Foulmire Knight or Blood Curdle. Probably Blood Curdle. To get some unconditional removal. Add some Nanase to my cards. I think Seize the Spoils ties together the neck. Ties the deck together pretty nicely. Like I have enough discard to make that card actually pretty solid. Gormond. Could be good. Probably better than this guy. Don't really have self mill going on. I'm really excited to see how this deck does. I might end up cutting this Archfiend package. And this Magmatic Channeler. For just all the sacrifice stuff that I need. Might cut the Sedgemore Witch as well, because I just don't have any instants or sorceries. We'll see what develops. I have to imagine Skullport Merchant is an absolute beast in this deck. Yeah, just a perfect card. Bake into a pie versus Goblin Wizardry. Not really a Wizardry deck. I think Bake is going to be better. So I just don't have to, like, creature count to make this Wizardry token as useful other than its two 1 1s. Maybe I can wheel Beetle back, Chief. Getting some more instants and sorcerers is good, though. So we've got the Havoc Gesture, the Mayhem Devil. So I think that if Death Touch would be good. Repeatable Creatures or all Double Strike. Not really going to want any of these cards, I don't think. Each player mills three. I don't really have any of this stuff. I'm going to stick a land just in case. Village rights. Could be good. Hmm. Okay, so this pack has Deadly Dispute, Star of Extinction, Forgotten Cave. I think I'm going to take the cave. My deck already has like all the playables it needs. I already have Village Rights for this exact same effect. And this might wheel. Wow, this card's in the cube. That would be so sweet to be able to ramp that out. Physics doesn't really fit the deck. This card could be really good. I have a decent number of creatures. And hopefully it comes together in this pack. Thriving more is also really good. Just making my mana more consistent. I have to imagine this is a premier card for this deck, though. Whenever another creature dies, part of their losing life and I gain life. Between that and the more. I'm going to check the more. Maybe nobody else wants the noble. I, I already have so many playables. I'm going to have to make some tough cuts anyway. So uh, I could just take Intro to Prophecy here so I have something to go get when I play Poets Bill. Take cool blue red cards. 
pain death could be good with some of my stuff, but I'll just get the intro. Pain three life. Pain three life. Ox. Ooh, scrap heap scrounger. Do I have any other ways to use the graveyard? That could give me a consistent thing to sacrifice. Also, gutter bones, which is similar, but only if I'm empty handed, which might not be super likely. And these can help trigger delirium. I do have some delirium stuff. Maybe gutter bones is better than. Sacrifice it to return to our creature from graveyard to battle. Ooh, this can trigger life gain. I mean, death touch on my stuff. Captain is really good. It's tough. This thing giving death like like makes these things really scary. And so I think I'm gonna go for the combo. Oh my gosh. This seems pretty terrifying. If my treasures, how many treasure makers do I have? One. Two, three, four. Right, anyway, I'm going to take this regardless. Seems really good. And so if I discard it, I can do some stuff. Black, red land. Deadly Dispute came back. Happy to see that. And the Falcon Wrath Noble came back. Perfect. I'm going to be able to get rid of some of the clunky stuff here. I think I have like basically every card I want. I think this card was a good pick. I wish there was a way to steal my opponent's creatures. That'd be nice. Okay, so there's 17 creatures here. I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff. Unwilling and greedy could be okay. Dead weight. Interesting. This is the best of three, so all these cards are gonna be useful for the sideboard as well. So this card actually has synergy with the channeler, but I don't think channeler is good enough for the deck. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut that guy. I think I might even cut this side. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, the card doesn't fit my deck as well. Oh, it's Quill. Not really where I want to be. Kind of like those two. Not sure if I need the Myers Grasp. I don't really have any instants and sorceries I have. Five instants, one sorcery. Maybe that card's fine. I always preferred this art. Um, this is a so let's see how many cards I have discarding. I have Pretty much only the one card that discards. Do I need makeshift munition? That's a question. Um, hmm, what do I have for removal? I have some pretty solid removal. Hmm. Yeah, it, as long as it's still no, it, because I've got a fan on and the fan messes with the microphone. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Creatures have 16. 
some of them are pretty solid for sacrificing. I'm not sure if I need this makeshift munitions because I already have this thing to ping and this thing to ping. So I think I'd rather have a like creature almost than that. All right, this is a discard thing. This thing can also like die twice and stuff. This thing has fine value from the graveyard. I think I might want Myers Grasp or Deadweight. One of those two, maybe both, maybe one, just so I can help trigger Delirium. Hmm. I'll have creature land potentially. Or for instant. Not sure. Oh, Kalein gives me a treasure which I can sacrifice to. Ormon seems pretty solid. I'm going to run into 17 lands here because my curve is pretty high. I just need to turn my last cards. Probably between Deadweight, Myers Grass. Poet's Quill, potentially. Archwing isn't particularly good in my deck. It's just like a raw card. I think I might want Myers Grass. And then we can always speak it over time. Um, I'm probably going to want to go 7 6 still. Oh no, because I have Forgotten Cave. So this is 8 6 1 2 3. So it's like 8 9 10 11 2 7 8 9 11 9. Archfiend does not combo with Gormond. I don't think you know what Gormond does necessarily. This is not really a combo at all. Okay. I'm going to try to build like this. I'll see you folks in the matches. Before I get to the matches, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support my work at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas and special shout out to those at the credits level. It is thanks to Patreon support that I'm able to continue producing high quality content on a consistent basis, and I am very grateful for that support. If you feel like my videos have provided you with some value and you would like to help me continue producing them, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As my way of saying thank you to patrons, I give a host of cool rewards like access to my card by card tier lists for each and every set with Midnight Hunt in Estrad right around the corner. Now is a great time to get in on that bonus content. You can also gain access to coaching and all sorts of cool stuff like being put in the credits. If you are interested in the Patreon, check it out. Patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. I really do appreciate the support. Without further ado, though, let's get to the matches. Welcome to round one. We have a mulligan here. Only one land, not even the color of our two drop. Pretty easy mulligan. This hand is much better. And I will ditch. I don't need both four drops, I don't think. And this guy can combo with Void Beckoner in some ways. What if you sacrifice a permanent? I think I'm gonna get rid of the noble actually. Because this thing can combo with the Void Beckoner and then Plunderer can like give it like bonus fuel. Oh no, this has to sack the creature. And then I can get bonus. Okay. Uh, okay. So I did, man. I, 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 it has, whenever you sack a permanent, you get treasure. So that'll just make this guy get bigger. Okay. 
I haven't played this card in a while. It wasn't very good in the format that it was home in, generally speaking. There was me on that. Oh. Kalane, I can then play Pedalist Blunderer right away. Also gives me some top deck options. Oh, I see. They're going to get back uh, Overwall Hydra really early in the game. That's scary. Luckily, I have this thing to block it. Tip tap touch. So their, like, scary plan isn't that scary. Saving the treasures until I have this guy in play. Okay, so ways to kill this thing could be good. So dead weight, Myers grasp. I'll take a hit for five, unless they, yeah, this is seven to use that. Yikes. Hmm. So I can trigger this point, this death touch, and then I can sacrifice this thing. Chain mana to kill Rankle. Going pretty well, Woody. Well, that's not good for me. Distinctly bad for me, actually.
Why do they use feign death? Come on, give me a creature. Oh, that's a bummer. I know I could have sacked it with Deadly Speed, but I didn't have the mana for it anyway. Dang. I can still find bacon to a pie or something. Unfortunately, they had that spark harvest. Hey, bacon to a pie, what do you know? And they did waste their feign death, which is helpful. Okay, so they have nothing going on. I can start to take back the tempo, though every creature they have that dies will hit me for two, but I do have three extra life, which is helpful. And I have some good stuff for if I find Marionette Master. Sure. when they cycle in this direction. I don't know, uh... Well, Kroki doesn't play Draft all the time. He plays Constructed a lot, Woody. Also, he streams full-time. And, uh... He doesn't Draft very much, so, like... <laughs> those are the three logics. My Draft skills were probably better than him because I play Draft a lot more. He streams a lot more, so he has way more viewers. And he usually plays Constructed, which is more popular. Etc, etc. Sure. Taking out my life gain, I respect it. I'm going to take out this thing on my turn with this treasure token. Because why I don't take two damage. I didn't want to give up a treasure. Because with Mayhem Devil, I can do stuff like what I just did. Oh, good point, Terry. Good point. Good call. Good call. Oh, that's a problem, potentially. Oh, I should have... No, I didn't want to do that in response. I should have done it on my turn because of this card. I forgot about that.
Hello, Orcus. Definitely gonna bring stuff back. I don't wanna lose life, so let's do this. Um, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can bring back six. A good amount of cost. Do I have any life gain in here? I'm gonna bring back this guy plus this guy, maybe. This gives me a sack out, which is nice. Oh, and they gain haste. Nice. Maybe we got then. Okay. So as long as I remember to block, I win. So pretty close in the end there. This is best of three though, so we get to play a post board game, which I always enjoy. Okay, so let's look at the battlefield for a second and see what they're working with. How many one toughness creatures do they have? They have one, two, a couple one toughness creatures. This is three. Three. So I think I want Myers Grasp in for sure. I already have that. Mm. I don't really want this because they have Rex Age, and currently Rex Age doesn't really wreck me that much. I'm not gonna want to put this on just to shrink something though. Yeah, pretty close comeback. I did top deck that bacon to a pie at a key moment. Mm -hmm. They have Bane Death. That's good to know about. They have Rankle. I want something to kill, like a turn one Gilded Goose, like another thing that I can kill Blood Artist. I could see myself wanting Dead Weight. I don't think I want Fiery Temper, though. Or this thing. I know they discard a card. They have some stuff that discards their own stuff. Not really. Arch Fiend. There's Poet's Quill, which could be good for the life game, but they're not particularly aggressive. Mm -hmm. So dead weight could be good. This death touch combo is generally pretty hard for them to interact, but they have one spark harvest we saw. How do we deal with rankle? Might need fiery temper for helping with rankle. I don't have a ton of removal, so I'm going to cut that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're gonna do that. We're making our deck a little bit more interactive. Especially on the draw. On the play, we might not need to be as reactive, but I need to have ways to deal with Rankle. This is a pretty good hand. It doesn't have our sack synergies, but it's got a nice little aggressive to curve out here. One drop, two drop, killer guy, killer guy. Sure. Hmm. I wonder why they're attacking. That seems like a bad attack, trading two damage for one damage. So I've drawn one of my sideboard cards. I cut the like one four guy for this. Okay, now I'm just confused. It feels like that would be a block we'd want to make. Okay. That was wrong order. I should have done that second in case they had feign death. So I'm working towards delirium. I'm not really going to get there at instant enchantment creature probably. Maybe this card is just like worse than a dead weight in my deck because I don't have delirium really. But I guess instant deal too might be better than that in some spots. Certainly better with the uh, three two guy. Sure. Sure. gonna do that because if I draw a land I'll want to be able to play Orcus. Void back is good for combos in my deck, not really particularly good here. Hmm. Sure. So you're going to get to gain three life here. Pretty much regardless of what happens. I'll just finish this off with a dead weight. And then they'll bring back this thing. Presumably. I don't want to cycle for Death Touch because then they gain another 3 life in addition to it. And also the Death Touch is really good in my deck, just with certain combos.
I don't really need Orcus. If they make me discard a card, I'll get rid of Orcus. Bring back the chain web. That's one of the reasons I didn't want to work is just because they can bring the chain web. Okay. I guess I should be trying to get to empty handed so that this card can do work. Could be good. <laughs> one damage any target, one damage any target. So if I can get them to four, I can kill them if they don't kill one of these things. We're going to bring back Chain Whip this turn, which is fine for me. Next turn I play Havoc Jester, then I play Mayhem Devil's Act to judge win. Or Sack of Treasure in the food. They bring back Rankle. I'll be fine as well. Three, four, five, six, seven. So they can't actually. Yeah, we're fine. Is them sacking to support them to four and then yeah Does that change things? Oh, there's only whenever you sack a permanent.
Yes, I assumed Rankle was coming back. Yeah, I thought they were templated the same way. They're slightly different. I now have a card to discard, though. So then I do that, I can sack this to deal two to them. They have to block there. If I attack, I can bring this thing back though. They can activate this to win though. Tough. Mm, that's tough. They have enough to do this. They should have. They should do this for sure. I'm definitely dead if they see the line. Rankle's such a problem for me. I don't I just can't kill it very easily. Yep, yep. Dang it. Oh, that was tough. I knew Rankle would be an issue. That's why I brought in all my removal for Rankle. Okay, maybe Feign Death Pose will be good, but they have bigger creatures than me, so I can't really attack as easily. Hitless Plunderer probably is good for my deck, though. Yeah, I don't need Dead Weight. I already kind of have Unholy Heat. I just want the answers for Rankle. I don't want to play again. Oh gosh, the, those couple pings from the Blood Artist really did cost me because I had my whole strategy based around killing them with my pings, and then they had the Blood Artist. Okay, we have to bowl again. Again, this is a good hand though. Have a gesture is good enough to keep. Yeah, the I could have killed the necromancer before they could bring the thing back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I um thought that I would be fine against their stuff because I didn't really care if they brought back Rankle. Because I was predicating my stuff on uh, some, some factors. I was like assuming that they weren't going to be able to gain life. And then I would have the win. Or really close to the win. I don't know, maybe I wasn't exactly at the win. They're missing lands. Doubtful, but maybe. And we're supposed to save Myers Grasp just for Rankle. So they don't have any more lands because otherwise they would have. Oh no, they played two lands last turn, didn't they? No, they didn't. They did not play an extra land. Though. Havoc Jester could be good. So I don't think they have rank low, they probably would have played it there. This can get rid of the reanimation guy. Could have killed their gilded goose. Now I'm glad I didn't. I'm gonna see what I draw first, because if I draw like a sack thing, I can get rid of this guy immediately. Oh, please attack. That was a really bad attack. Punished to the max? Is that how the saying goes? Gosh darn it, that's frustrating. Oh, man. I was hoping to draw like village rights or something. I imagine they're in real trouble because the Gilded Goose is now dead. They couldn't cast a relevant spell last turn, so even if they drew a land, they still can't cast a relevant spell. Kalein ramping out of 6 6 was pretty good. Having an extra 5 3 trample flyer in play would be nice right now, but.
I think we got him. I don't think they can cast anything. That matters at least. They found a land. Man, the matches are always so intense where you're like, oh, yes! Yes! Got the win! Let's go. We managed to beat that stupid wrangle. Oh my gosh, that card is a beating. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was close. Close match. We had, we had a couple. We won both of the games where we mulliganed and we lost the game where we kept our seven. Crazy. Do we want to make any changes to the deck? Probably not. I think the Myers Graph is a good sizing. I think having one on Holy Heat is fine. The scythe, we turned out. Now that I've like seen my deck, my deck doesn't have enough sack outlets to make scythe good, I don't think. So I don't really want that card, but this card a lot of my sideboard cards have potential for the right matchup. The warlock class was so annoying. It just like, oh, they always had it. It's always a factor. That was a close match though. We made a little bit of comeback. Oh, don't don't try to spread those rumors, Ricky. Mulliganing does not increase your win percentage. Remember, this is an educational stream. We only speak the truth. Okay. Oh, one drop off the top. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. If I do, what it is. They're taking a bit of a beating here. Yeah, this thing is uh, going to do some work, I assume. They're going to kill my guy. Almost guaranteed. I'm worried. I don't know what they're up to. Not gonna end well for our hero. Them attacking is not a good sign. Oh. I'm gonna bring in dead weight for sure. Yep, yep, yep. And I can't play this because they'll fight it and deal a bunch of damage to me. Okay. And I can't race them because they're going to gain so much life on this thing right now. combo. No, they, they came up with Indestructible and Regen. They were both there. Well, that was a combo. Archfiend can do it, you're right. 
So can Blumond. Just get all the random junkers. That guy's kind of a junker. Mm, I kind of need the deadly display for more sack outlet things. Two cards to cut. I really don't think Archie fits my deck very well. I don't have enough stuff that it works with. Like, I just don't think I can play it. I already have enough expensive guys. It works with like two cards in my deck. I'm not going to play the Quill, I don't think. I don't think it's good enough for my deck. We have two cyclers. Well, slash discard is this is like not a cycler technically. Goodbye, unwilling ingredient. I hardly knew ye. Wow. Brash Taunter is a problem. Could have cut on holy heat, maybe that might have been better. Oh, so tough. If it hit land had a red source, it'd be pretty good, but I can't keep it. This is much better. I think I'm actually gonna ditch the Falcon Wrath Noble. Even though it kind of plays well against them, I could go to Rick Kalane, seize the spoils, and then Gormond on turn four. Four? Yeah, I have like four or five ways of dealing with the Brash Taunter now, so I'm probably going to be fine. If Kalane dies, I'm in trouble. Oh no! My whole plan is crumbling. Oh, I was going to be so sweet. Oh, Gormond. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Orcus can kill the brash onto. Your leaves are so unchanging. I was going to have an 8 8 trampoline. Or 7 7 trampoline. Oh, Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Why are your songs so catchy? So I can then get back later with the workers when I need card advantage. Oh, I need to disable that again. I, I re-enabled it when I was back home with my cat. Did I we just bring the cat to say hello to the stream. Neither of us gets to have a Skullport Merchant now. Thanks for reminding me to disable it. 
And then I can Orcus, bring back Spellport Merchant. Mm -hmm. It wrecked opponent. I'm playing Flample Tribal. All the flying travelers. No, they had their combo again. It's so dumb. I should not have played that land. I should have kept it for Fighter Seize the Spoils. So I guess I have Fiery Temper to discard to that, potentially. Oh my gosh. Is so it's annoying. Na, 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 na. Oh, I did cast the spoil. Good point. Good point. I didn't even draw a mountain, so I have to cast Fiery Temper using a treasure, which is so irritating. Wow, perfect timing, mountain. Traitor. Oh, gosh. Better to deal with me than with demons. I hate this card so much. I hate the fact that I have no idea what it does and that I have. Oh my. It's just so dumb. It's such a stupid card design. What does. How did they get their guy back? How did that happen? Do I get to see how that happened? What? What was their downside? Wow, I am beyond. I, I, I'm so confused. Why does this card exist? It's so such a... Do I get to see what the offers were and what the conditions were? Or does just random stuff happen and I just have to like be like, what? So they minus two, they got this back. What was their downside? Did they lose life? What happened? They just got their guy back. Does he have to get sacred? What's the condition on it? Is it something on this guy? Check the emblem. You should have an emblem for the downside. I don't see an emblem. Do you see an emblem? Where's the emblem? Was it like buff one of my creatures or something as the downside? I'm so confused. That's a horrific design. Like some of the designs are like totally fine where it's like, oh, I get what that's saying. I just... This is like the actual worst design I've ever seen in my life. Because I have no idea what the card did. They just got their guy back. They didn't lose life because I hit them with the Gormon for five. Player emblem beneath the chat window. It's not beneath. There's there's no emblem. Well, I I I know I know that part. It says choose one of three random offers and choose one of three random conditions. I I realize that part, but it doesn't show me what those are. I have no idea of knowing. So my opponent just played a card. Used one of its effects, got their creature back. I have no idea what the downside was. I have no idea that they could even bring back their creature with this guy. It's just so stupid. Oh my gosh.
It's just a horrific design. I just don't get to know what the card does. It's like, if my opponent cast that card against me and I had a counter spell, I would not know whether I was supposed to save that counter spell. Where was the emblem? I was looking for it. That was so frustrating. I was... I was so confused. They didn't lose life. I looked. Yeah, but what was it? I have no way of knowing. It's like, so bad. It's like, horrific. The client doesn't tell me. I'll attack into the pouncer. Sure. Oh, they're main decking that. Oh, it's a perpetual thing. It's not an emblem. I have to hold full control when they use their card so I'll know what their card does. Beautiful. That card is like actually horrific design, in my opinion. Just, it's not a magic card. It just isn't, like what? Oh, that's not gonna be good for me. I'm gonna play this guy first. No, the chat log isn't on my screen. I see the full screen. I I the chat log is an overlay. I can see the entire screen without anything being on it. No emblem if it's perpetuity. Why wouldn't it just be an emblem? That's like an actual magic mechanic. Man, I'm still just thinking about that card. It's so dumb. Okay. Um, oh, I have 
creature, yeah, creature enchantment. Three, four. But the mere fact that I have no idea what the card does when he casts it is so bad. It's so bad. Can I kill them? Can I get seven damage? Probably not. There we go. Sacrifice one thing, sacrifice two things, one thing, two thing, make two more treasures. We go to five. I think I'm gonna my three treasures. Yeah, I can't. Dispute doesn't deal uh damage to the face. I mean unholy doesn't do it on the face. I could kill this by doing that, but I don't really care. I think I can almost kill them. So I'd rather do that. Save my stuff. If they tap out, they're down board, I believe. Okay. Nearly tapped out, I guess. Okay. This makes a treasure. There's only two treasures. Oh, I could have gotten into one. So many triggers. Spell draw card. Thank you. 
Got her. Okay, so they have some 4-4s four and stuff. 4-toughness. Four, 4-toughness. Four 4-toughness. Four four they have so much 4-toughness stuff. I don't have anything that kills 4-toughness stuff. No, not really. Kind of a problem, almost. Need the scythe to compete. I have some stuff in my main deck can kill four toughness stuff, I guess. Highest Grass does kill some things, but it's kind of worrisome. I'm worried, but I don't think I have any major changes to make right now. The whole lead just does two damage. Maybe I was supposed to side that up. I could set up one of my death touch combos. That'd be good. Bring in the beatdowns. This thing relatively sizable. Three three flyers, no joke. I hope that works. They could just play one of their four four flyer things and then it's a problem, but wow, they're just playing four four city here. so tough for me to beat. First strike two? Oh my gosh.
I need to find one of my uh, Mayhem Devil pet cards. I think I have three of them in the deck. That ain't one of them. I can kill this thing. I want to make him waste a mana though. Oh gosh. And then I can turn this into a pie. I'm feeling like Golem Stew tonight. Need to get them low here because they can re-equip that to something else. Oh my gosh, this mole is such a problem! They're dead on board, though. Do they have two flyers? Unless they top deck something insane. Well, that should just about seal up the deal. And I'll attack these two ground creatures. Boom! Got the win. Whew. Man, getting a nice 2-1. Oh, gosh. The sound of construction outside feels good. But yeah, getting a nice 2-1 feels great. Pretty happy with that. Good performance by the deck. Felt like we got all the pieces we needed. Um, maybe I could have made some better picks in the early draft parts of the draft where I just... Kind of wasn't as familiar with which cards would be good. I kind of thought that the sides would be better, so I remember I took that pretty early and didn't turn out very well. The Poetic Quill, Poet's Quill, I didn't really need the life gain. Maybe first picking the channeler wasn't the best. But overall, I felt pretty happy with how this deck performed. It played out pretty well. We had some cool combos. We never really assembled the Death Touch combo other than that first game, but did some cool stuff. Unholy Heat didn't perform as well because I just didn't have an artifact or ways to get lands in the graveyard as easily, but... Still, I think a pretty good card as a shock with some high upside. And overall, pretty cool deck. If you made it all the way till the end of the video, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more cube drafts in the future, and to let me know you made it all the way till the end of the video, leave hashtag 
what the heck Dave Rail to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video because I feel like that was my biggest rant of the video where I just got kind of salty about that or not salty more so outraged I prefer the word outraged we also assembled some pretty cool combos where we would like sack a creature to Skullport Merchant pay a mana for Kells some pretty cool sack outlets or hashtag sack machine gun because that's kind of one of our coolest combos in our deck um, you can remember to support my work on Patreon, patreon.com slash Bolas, if you would like to help me continue making these videos and gain access to some cool rewards in the process. If my videos are providing you some value, that's a great way to help, um, uh, help support me and my work. Um, if you would like to find my articles, the Discord server, the Twitch stream, all of those are linked in the description. They're all free. Um, you can also, if you have Amazon Prime, support my work at no extra cost to yourself simply by subscribing with Prime Gaming. Amazon owns Twitch, so you can link the two accounts, and then you can subscribe to my channel each and every month, and it does help me out as well. Um, there's also some Nikolai Bolas merchandise, if you're interested in that. It's linked down below as well. There's a shirt, and now I made a mug. And there's more stuff on the way. I, it's really fun to design it, and I hope you folks enjoy that as well. That's going to do it, though. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you next time.